Hello, I'm Anchor Pete, and welcome to the third episode of Anchor's Points. Pretty much anyone who watches this channel already knows me personally. But let's just, you know, role play for a second and pretend you're a complete stranger. So a complete stranger wouldn't know that comic books are really my main passion. I love comic books so much. Um, every year on Goodreads, I do that Goodreads challenge where I try to read a certain amount of books per year. And for me, I set it to about 120 books. Now, that might sound crazy if it was novels or, you know, nonfiction, right? But one of the loopholes of Goodreads is that you can actually read comic book trades. And so I am able to read like over 100 comic book trades in a year. I usually go through a comic book trade, you know, when I go to bed at night, I usually read one and I could read one in one or two nights. Now for comics, here's the thing. The people that I know that watch my YouTube channel at the moment are not huge comic book fans. I know this. I know some of you have read quite a few comics and some of you have read the comics based on my suggestions. Well, I, I wanna kinda use this channel to really advocate for comics and to show you that there's so much more than the stuff that you see in the movie theaters these days. You know, there's, there's comic book universes that you haven't even been exposed to yet. And the one that I'm gonna talk about today is the Valiant universe. Uh, some of their characters that are real popular, there's Exo Man of War, who I compared to, um, I said that he was like Iron Man and Thor put together, right? And so um, Exo Man of War, um, is his name is Eric of Dacia, which is like this, you know, country from a long time ago with the time of the ancient Visigoths. And he was abducted by an alien race known as the Vine, and he was going to be used as a slave, but he was able to escape from the Vine and he found a piece of uh, armor that he put on and it came to life. It was a sentient armor and it gave him this, you know, power. He was kind of like Iron Man, but he was, you know, back in the days of, you know, ancient Rome or whatever, right? Okay, and speaking of which, if you want to see some embarrassing footage of me as Exo Man of War, look right here. Eric, do you like any baseball teams that are in the MLB that are just made up of regular human players? Though I am originally from Dacia, I do quite love the Astros from Houston. And you know, there is some controversy surrounding them, unfortunately. Some of them are members of the Vine. Then there's Bloodshot, which they did have a movie recently with Bloodshot um, with Vin Diesel. And that was like one of the only movies playing in theaters for a while because of the whole, you know, shelter in place situation. Anyway, um, Vin Diesel um, played Bloodshot, who is basically, he's this soldier that gets taken in by this company called Project Rising Spirit. And they have their own master plan too that I'm not going to get into today. But they fill his body with sentient nanobite technology or nanotech, right? And essentially, um, anytime he gets hurt, the nanobites heal up his body. So one was Shadow Man. And um, Shadow Man is this guy that lives in New Orleans. And he has this Loa, this spirit that goes inside of him. And it gives him superpowers. And he needs them to fight against the forces from this place called the Dead Side. And, um, well, if you want to see some embarrassing footage of me as Shadow Man, just look right here. On a movie set right now, or maybe like some creepy garage? Well, Pete, you caught me. I am in an abandoned set. Uh, you see, because of the coronavirus, there's no one around, social distancing. I figured I'd start working on the Shadow Man movie. I'm looking at maybe Sterling K. Brown to play me. You know, you go up against Vin Diesel eventually. Client during this quarantine time has put a lot of effort into their social media presence. And they've really encouraged people to stay at home and they can read their books. And every single week they put out a bunch of free comics through their Twitter feed that fans who have never read their books can, you know, latch on to. So I have a, a subscription to Comixology Unlimited, which is about like six bucks a month. And it gives you access to a ton of comic book titles. And Valiant lets pretty much all of their older books be on Comixology Unlimited. So you can go through like their whole, you know, collection of books for free if you have Comixology Unlimited, right? I mean, you pay $6.99 a month, but like that's cheaper than the cost of one trade. And you could read dozens of trades of Valiant books. 
One of the books that I've been reading on Comixology Unlimited has been Harbinger, which I've been trying to get completely caught up on. Just recently, I read Harbinger Volume 4, which is called A Perfect Day, and I'm going to review that in my next episode of Anchor's Points. So let's talk about Harbinger real quick. The main characters, they're called Psyots, P-S-I-O-T-S, right? And what happens is they all have mental powers, but their mental powers manifest in different ways. Like there's this one guy named Torque, that's his like code name, right? Um, where he's this like shrimpy little guy who's kind of dorky, but he's able to project this shell over himself that makes him this big muscular, you know, redneck kind of fighting guy. Probably the most famous character from the Harbingers is this character, Faith, who she, I mean, I'll just come out and say it. Like, what's interesting about her is that her body is atypical for a comic book superhero, a female comic book superhero. Right? But that's perfect because it doesn't have to be that every female superhero is this supermodel, you know? Like, it's great that there's all these different body types that exist in this universe. And so her power is just that she's able to fly and she can kind of make a little field that can help other people fly or lift things with that field. But what's so great about Faith is that the way that she acts, her mentality is like a fan girl or a fan boy. You know, she, she is into all the stuff that we're into. She loves Battlestar Galactica, Lord of the Rings, Doctor Who, and she references things like that constantly. So she's the character that you can relate to the most. And I, I just think that's great. And um, last but not least, there's also Peter Stanchek, who is from the uh, Harbingers. He's the one that's like their leader. He is the most powerful psyot that's around besides this guy named uh, Toyo Harada, okay? And uh, we'll go into Harada when I do my next video, but he is the most powerful Saya, right? After I've talked about Valiant Entertainment and I've mentioned a couple of their characters, please in the comments, tell me which one you think is the most interesting and that you would look forward to videos of, all right? Thanks for watching, please stay safe. Mm -hmm.